Hey everybody, Claire here, and look what Mochi dragged in. Coolest <laughs> jobs. Cool jobs or coolest jobs? I what, mean, I mean, I think today it's obviously coolest jobs. Coolest job. Yeah. Chocolatier. So, first question. How would you describe what you do? My name is Jonathan Graham, and I am the chocolatier and owner of Compartes Chocolates. Compartes is chocolate meets art, design, fashion, Los Angeles. Um, I believe that Compartes is basically Jonathan, through the lens of chocolate. So mm -hmm. I really get to do um, a multitude of different things. My medium is chocolate, my art form is chocolate, um, but it's not just like your run of the mill candy shop or chocolate shop, it really is a lot more. Um, it's, a, it's really a brand that I've created mm -hmm. and it's a reflection of me and I, I, I just love it. It's a chocolate really covered mirror, I love it. It's a chocolate covered gram. The job at Comparties started almost as like an after school job. Correct, yeah. yeah. I, I think I was 15, so I must have been in high school. Yeah. And um, I was working in the shipping department, I did the front counter at first, and I just kind of, um, because I was there so much mm -hmm. and I love chocolate, I developed this passion for trying my own recipes. Yeah. And, um, I, my first creation was called Love Nuts, mm -hmm. and it was when I was 19, and Food & Wine Magazine named it one of the top 100 foods in the country. And that kind of put us on the map and allowed me to continue to do experiments. It was like, hey, there's this kid with who's never gone to culinary school, mm -hmm. and he's created one of America's best foods. It was it was crazy. Yeah, and it was a huge departure too from what Compartis was as a brand because a lot of people don't realize that in LA, Compartis is in, for LA standards, it's like an ancient brand. It's, it is. It's like a dinosaur. The, the Kennedys loved it. Kennedys, you know? Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley. Yeah. Um, all used to go to Compartis. It's been in business since 1950, so it's yeah. a 67 year old business. And it's, it's good you mentioned because mm -hmm. a lot of times I'll go to like a party and people say, "Oh, you're from Compartis. I love Compartis." And it's, "Oh, well, it's a new company." When did you start it? And I'm like, no, it's been in business 67 years, yeah, so it has that history. Too. Yeah, and we reference a lot of it in our packaging and mm -hmm. our design and our flavor, Art Deco, also doing uh, gourmet nostalgia. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just been this evolution where um, I get to wake up every day and do what I love, and we're going to talk about that more yes. now, but um, it is really rewarding to be able to live out my passion. Yeah, well, and I think also it's interesting to see that. His Comparte started as an after-school job for him, and then I remember you moved up and got to be the manager, and then yeah. started doing your own recipes and things like that. And then slowly but surely, you the business became so successful because you were helming it that you were able to buy it. Yeah. And then you became the owner. And I remember yeah. how exciting that was. That was so exciting. I mean, oh and then I, I took out a loan yeah. at the bank when I was 24 years old, um, and it was like a, a seven-year loan, and I paid it back in one year. So let me move on to our next question. When was the first time you felt like you knew what you were doing? Like you're like, yeah, chocolatier. I've never even thought about that. I know a lot of times when I felt like I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> you know? Um, so when I was 21, uh, Bon Appetit asked to taste my truffles, and that was really my first baby. They're mm -hmm. called Jonathan Signature Truffles. Our, we're really famous for our bars, but the truffles are really where my heart is. Bon Appetit um, asked to taste the chocolate, and I drove to their office. They had an office in LA. This is when I was 21. I drove to their office. I dropped off the box, and I'm driving back. I'm almost to Compartes, and I get a call from Bon Appetit, and they said, your chocolates are the best chocolate we've ever tasted. Can you please come back and bring us a, another box to photograph? And they told me they have a tasting panel. I, you know, it's different now mm -hmm. that they're in New York. Um, and there was 10 people, and it was the first time they've ever evaluated chocolates, the 10 people, and nobody had anything negative to say. Oh my God. It was the perfect score from Bon Appetit. I know this is such a long answer, but I've never talked about it. That was amazing to me because there's so many chocolate companies, and Bon mm -hmm. Appetit is tasting so many things. And here I am just doing what I love waking up every day trying to do my mm -hmm. best and there's these professional food people who are saying your your shit is the bomb yeah and i'm like yeah it is so now it's kind of like the rapid fire portion least glamorous part of the job most glamorous part of the job least glamorous is i work my ass off mm -hmm. and i work 24 hours a day and i'm really good at what i do i'm not good at that many things but i'm good at comparte so mm -hmm. i walk into a room and I can look and I see six people doing six different things and I can already tell what's wrong or what, mm -hmm. and it's difficult in that we still, I'm such a perfectionist mm -hmm. with my business. So every recipe I'll go and I'll taste everything while they're making it, make sure that it's right, add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. People think, oh, well, you know, Compartes is like popular and you know, he's got a big company, but I actually don't. No, it's, and I, I work it's incredibly really hard. small. 
people think you have like a fleet around you and you have like two one people. or two really yeah. amazing people yeah. as your support. Shout out to Yan. Hey Yan. I think the reason why you're good at that and why Compartis has been able to thrive is because you worked up in it. You've been in the shipping department. You've had to work behind the counter with customers. You've had to do all the emails and go to FedEx and deal with all that stuff. And if you didn't do that, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to walk in a room and go, that's the problem. How about this? I still do all that stuff. I'm still <laughs> behind the counter. I'm still answering the phone, but it is a small business and yep. it's a labor of love. And that's something that as much as it's difficult, I never want to change it. I'm never going to go corporate. Most glamorous. Shooting um, YouTube videos with me, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Wurstler. Um, <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> you didn't even like let me pretend for a second. Kelly Wurstler and Claire. Yeah. Most glamorous <laughs> is when Kelly Wurstler's people reached out to me and said she wanted to work with me. No, that's pretty amazing. Um, she is a design inspiration and idol of mine. Oh. And, and just to have, you know, to be selected to do that sort of collaboration. And I'm the only food brand she works with. And she doesn't work with a lot of other brands, period. Mm -hmm. um, and our collaboration has been so great. And she will be designing our new store, which that, is really exciting. If I had to just chime in and say what I think the most glamorous aspect of Compartis is, I do think it's the fact that you're going to have this ridiculous store. Oh my God. This Coming is, soon. It's going to be ridiculous. April, amazing. 2017, the Woo! new Compartes will be open. This is great. Another thing is mm. that I have, through Compartes, been able to meet almost every like celebrity that I want to meet, work with every brand that mm. I've wanted to work with. Yesterday, I got a call from Hermes. The day before, I got a call from D&G. We do chocolates for Gucci, Facebook, Infinity, Tesla, um, Instagram. I mean, these are the top companies in the world and they are calling me. Why do you keep at it and what inspires you? I like, keep I keep at it because I love it. Mm -hmm. So I can't even wake up and not work. I mm -hmm. can't even go a day without thinking about Compartes. Even when mm -hmm. I'm on vacation, mm -hmm. things are inspiring me. I'm on the beach, I'm in the ocean, I'm looking at whales and yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I need to put a whale on a chocolate bar or like, look at the sun, the way that it's hitting and look at this color gold and I need mm. to do a golden do you ever, caramel. Or... Do you ever not love it? Sometimes when I am really stressed and mm. really overworked, I have moments where I'm stressed and overworked, but I never not love it. Any advice for would-be chocolatiers? And I would even say this extends to anybody kind of wanting to start their own food company. So I would say, Really go with your gut. Um, when I came out with my packaging, there was several different bigger stores, uh, big companies that you all would know of that said, oh, your packaging's too colorful, your packaging doesn't match chocolate, your packaging is too different, and I just did what I wanted. Um, I think my advice to anybody is create your own lane and stay in it. Mm -hmm. So what I've done with Compartis is I'm not diffusing myself. I don't do a million things. I do chocolate. That's what I do. That's what I stand for. And I do it really well and I focus on chocolate. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, if you're going to do, you know, a juice company, just do juice. Don't do like a acai and, you know, protein powder and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Just focus on something mm -hmm. and get really good at your craft. And then people go to that. It's, it's a, that specialty. It's well, that niche. It's how you create a brand. This idea is if you're trying to do too many, and I'm really bad at this, I always am trying to do too many things at once, and it does But you're diffuse, good at so many of the things. But it does diffuse the brand, where people then don't really understand what you're about. And that's such a, that if you're trying to build a brand, that's an impossibly frustrating place to be. So kudos to you. I also say stick with it. Yeah. I say that um, I didn't, Compartes wasn't successful overnight. Mm -hmm. Think about it. A lot of people might know Compartes now. I'm 32. I've been doing it since I was 15. Yeah. That's 16 years yeah. of work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people think that in six months they're going to like do something. It's going to take off and they're going to be millionaires. That's not how it happens. No. Not in with food, anything in life. This is not the lotto. Well, you have to work hard. I'm definitely not in food. Good Lord. Yeah. And the, food is a really tough business. The, pro the margins are super small. Yeah. And you have, you know, you have to, to but quality, yeah. you know, quality over quantity. And you always, always have to maintain the quality. And, and mm -hmm. I say no sometimes to things because of A, the quality not being there or B, I don't have the capacity or time to do it. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I don't want to do a 90% version of Compartis, I always want to do 100%. Love it. Always 100. Keep it 100. Well, this was so inspiring and so fun. I feel like we've never like gotten to sit and sort of chat like this before. 
I think that in the comments you should write if you want me to interview Claire. It's going to be a flip of the kitschy kitchen script and I am down for it. I should be the only one that will do it. So please vote in the comments below and we'll switch it. I think my channel has just been hijacked by John. A flip of the kitschy kitchen script. You're so proud yeah. of that. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stop it! Oh my god! Okay. I'm now the host. Thank you so much for watching. Good lord. Okay, you all know where to find lovely Jonathan. Comparties.com, Comparties everywhere. On Instagram, Comparties. And I just joined Snapchat and I love it. And I post stuff to Snapchat all day long. I love it more than other social media right now. So it's amazing. Get on the Snapchat and I'll and let's chat. Absolutely. Well thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.